Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I was just petting the world's best cat, Lemieux Larson. Hi, I'm naturalist Nicole, here with the world's second best cat, Coconut Dale. Today, we're gonna to take a look at pets of the Camp Keep staff and talk about some of the cool adaptations that they have and compare them to wild animals. Coconut and Limeo are domestic short hair cats, but some of their wild local relatives include mountain lions and bobcats. All cats, wild or domesticated, have retractable or semi-retractable claws. When they don't need them, they tuck away nicely in their fur but they can come out when it's time to hunt. They are hook-like and sharp. Ah! Hi everybody, this is Nidaria and I'm here to share my dog Benny with you. While Benny is very comfortable living in a house and not having to hunt for his food, he still shares some very cool features in common with his wild animal relatives like foxes, coyotes, and wolves. You might notice a few things that he has in common with them, like his eyes being on the front of his head so that he can see things like rabbits and squirrels from a long ways away. But what I really wanna show you are his teeth. So I'm gonna give him a treat. Let's see if I'll open his mouth. You see those nice sharp canines? I might be able to get him to show you some of his other teeth. All right, come on, baby. Yeah, let's show your teeth. Let's show your teeth. Yeah, see those sharp incisors? The teeth on the front are called the incisors. So now he's trying to get another treat. So you could also notice that he has some very sharp molars. Benny, sit. <laughs> he's a very good boy, but now he's super excited to get another treat. So there, his, there are his sharp molars. So you can see that he really has very pointy teeth that are good for eating meat. So things like rabbits and probably other things besides squirrels. He likes to pretend that he's going to run after the cats in the neighborhood and eat them, but I don't think he would really do it. All right, Benny, say bye-bye. This is Proton. Proton is a Siberian Husky mix. He is the pet of a naturalist lizard from Camp Keep by the Sea. Whoa, you missed. We are going to see if Proton will say some stuff for us. So, Proton, can you sit? Good boy. Now, Proton, can you speak? Speak. <coughs> yes, good boy. Can you speak again? Speak. <coughs> good job. What do you notice about his barks? Do you think he sounds the same as he would if he were a wild dog? Let's do hear one more. Proton, speak. <coughs> yes, good boy. friends it's salamander and here I am on a nice sunny day in my backyard with another one of my friends Carmel. Carmel's our pet guinea pig and one thing I wanted to tell you was how Carmel's a little bit like a wild animal. Out in the wild you might see a gopher or you might see a ground squirrel and they're all kind of like Carmel. They're small little critters that live on the ground and forage for food for grass and seeds and things like that but Carmel's a guinea pig and they don't have a real good sense of sight. They do have their eyes on the side of their head that helps them sense if a predator is nearby, but their main sense for a predator is their sense of hearing. So if they hear something coming, they'll either freeze and be perfectly still. Or they'll dart away quickly to hide. Carmel, are you ready to dart away to hide? Bye for now.